good afternoon or good morning or whenever you're watching this. Welcome to our video clip about the wonderful world of classic Mercedes. This weekend I was checking out my 123 prior to a long trip and I noticed that I had a transmission fluid leak and it wasn't at the transmission. It was actually at one of the cooler hoses that runs parallel to the engine and supplies the transmission oil cooler with transmission fluid. Now, if you have a 123 diesel or a 126 diesel that is equipped with the 616 or 617 engine, you are probably going to experience this if you have a car that has an automatic transmission. What happens is these transmission cooler metal lines that run parallel to the engine are supposed to be protected with a little rubber cover and there is a clamp that uses an, a 5 millimeter bolt to anchor them to the oil pan. However, when this little rubber cover or sleeve deteriorates, you have a metal on metal situation. Now, what happens after several thousand miles is these lines vibrate and vibrate and vibrate and vibrate and then a hole wears through the central radius of the line and then you get a leak. And it's often a mystery leak too because it only leaks when the car is running. You actually never see it when the car shut off because as soon as you shut the car off, there's no more pressure. So if any of you have a situation like this, you probably want to know what to do about it. But first of all, I suggest checking your own car for this problem and making sure that your lines aren't slowly and gradually wearing a hole through them. If they are, then putting the little rubber sheath on will delay the problem and possibly stop it. However, if your line has broken, here's what you do, here's what you don't do. If the line fails in an emergency, you get a 10 millimeter diameter piece of rubber hose, break the line, that's right, break it in half, and slide the rubber hose on as a sleeve and then clamp it at each end with a serrated hose clamp. This is a great side of the road repair. It can be done quickly and easily with parts sourced at any auto parts store. If you want to do a correct repair, which you should do at all times, one, you can order a new line from Mercedes, which is completely feasible, or two, what we usually do is we either braze the hole up, if it's just a hole, or if we've had to separate the line, we actually get a bigger piece of metal tubing and slide the two parts into it and then braze around where that bigger piece of metal tubing is so that you have a re not only a reinforced area, but now you have a proper repair that's all metal. That way you don't have to worry about this issue coming up again. Yes, you'll have to relocate the area where the line is anchored to the side of the engine, but you are not going to have to deal with that problem because now you know what proper steps to take. And if you want to buy a new metal line, generally they are available from Mercedes. So for this and other transmission questions, I advise you to drop us an email. And of course, you'll learn a lot if you decide to subscribe to us. I would really like that. It would make me very happy. And always, always enjoy driving your Mercedes-Benz. We look forward to hearing from you. I'm Pierre Hidari, and have a great week.